is May and we finally got the April stats for the real estate market on Staten Island. And let's see if Staten Island is catching up to the U.S. market reports. They've been going down for quite a while. The price has been going down each month when I do the stats, I keep telling you that we're still going strong. So let's check out April stats and see how we're doing. So quickly to tell you, U.S. existing home sales declined 2.4% month over month as the last measure. And then according to the National Association of Realtors, revisiting February sales gain of 14.5%. Fluctuations in mortgage interest rates have caused buyers to pull back. All right, so let's see how we doing on Staten Island. So new listings in Staten Island decreased 30.9% to 439 listings only. Pending sales were down as well, 20.4% to 335 sold homes total. Inventory levels fell 20.9% and now we have 1,235 homes or units as they call them on the market. But I gotta tell you, there was a time several years ago that we didn't even have a thousand homes on the market. So it depends what you compare to versus years ago when we used to have 4,000 homes on the market. So that gives you a real perspective on the amount that comparing to 4,000 homes, let's say 3,500 to 4,000 homes to about 1,200 homes right now, about 35% of what it used to be. Okay, so prices gotten a bit soft. And if you watch my video from April that I did stats for March, you would have known this answer right now that we are the median sale price decreased by seven percent so it went now to six hundred twenty two thousand nine 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 so let's call it six hundred and twenty three thousand the days on the market had increased by forty point two percent to one hundred and three days okay so we're now over three months of timelines from selling a house versus a couple of hours okay last year before the interest rates just completely went up okay so housing inventory remains tight nationwide with only 980,000 units available for sale heading into april it is a 5.4 percent increase from one year earlier although the number of homes for sale is down compared to the same period in 2019, which was before the pandemic. So the lack of existing inventory continues to impact home sales and with only 2.6 months supply of homes at last measure. So competition of available properties remains strong, especially certain price categories with multiple offers occurring and about a third of the properties according to national association of realtors so if you've been following me and you've been subscribing to my channel i always talk about in certain videos how pricing strategy understanding the pulse of the market understanding comparing demand and available inventory on the market and pricing it where the market is heading versus where it was is very important sometimes it could be pricing it higher because we are in an escalating market and we've been in that type of market through the pandemic time but right now we are very much kind of level i know that i mentioned that the prices the median sell price dropped seven percent but that's also because a lot of the properties are listing higher. They're listing as if we are in a still growing and escalating market versus looking at the closed sales the way we traditionally do 
our listing and evaluation um, the way we traditionally evaluate when we do a market analysis and determine and recommend what is the best price to place the property for sale to generate activity to generate even multiple offers in today's market and getting it sold rather quickly so no more one hour sales no more one day sales no more overwhelming amount of offers but yes we still do have multiple offers the good news is, is that a lot of the opportunities that you if you're buying especially if you're a first-time home buyer weren't able to exercise or utilize for example like low down payment mortgages fha loans things like that sellers concessions you weren't able to utilize that because there were so many buyers with bigger down payments conventional loans removing contingencies and therefore you talking to you if you're a first-time home buyer with a low down payment really got completely pushed out of the game but the good news is it's springtime and mortgages with low down payment fha loans are being very much acceptable and welcome for homeowners that are serious selling and even concessions and you don't have to remove any appraisal contingencies any inspection contingencies if you can afford it do consider speaking with a mortgage broker who can based on let's say based on a median sale price which is a little bit over of six hundred thousand with a low down payment of three to three and a half percent you're talking about let's say about twenty to twenty five thousand total investment so what I'm gonna do now as always is giving you some stat based on the certain sections of Staten Island like we do and we're gonna start with the East Shore and the East Shore includes data from Arakar, Grasmere, Old Town, South Beach, Longan Hills Below, Boulevard, Grand City and Midland Beach and the short version of the stats would be the year-over-year -year change in median sale price is 1.6 percent the year-over-year -year change in closed sales is minus 42.7 percent and the year of a year change in new listings is minus 3.8 percent so we're still hungry for inventory and the median sale price comparing the last three months in 2022 the median sale price in the east shore was 675,000, and comparing to same period of time this year is 663 which gives us this 1.6 percent decrease and now let's go and check gateway and gateway we have new dorp oakwood beach oakwood heights bay terrace great kills and eltingville let's see how we're doing there the median home sale price compared to the same period of time in 2022 versus 2023 2022 it was 657,000 and same time this year is 650,000. So the median sale price in Gateway went down by 1.1%. And let's go to Greater St. George. And that includes data from Fort Wadsworth, Concord, Shore Acres, Rosebank, Clifton, Stapleton, Tompkinsville, St. George, Ward Hill, Park Hill, and Grimes Hills. And if we compare the median sale prices from the same period of 2022 was 560,000. And then same period this year is 550,000. So we have a reduction in the median sale price of 1.8%. And then we're gonna go to Heartland. And Heartland is of course, Heartland Village. And then Willowbrook, Manor Heights, Bulls Head, New Springville, Travis, and Lateret. And the median sale price last year during the same time, which is the first, fourth quarter through April, with a little bit extra, 636,000 compared to the same period this year, which is 620,000. And that's a reduction in the values at 2.5%. 
North Shore. Remember what we had last time in the North Shore? So we have data from New Brighton, Snug Harbor, Livingston, Randall Manor, West Brighton, Port Richmond, Mariner Harbor, Graniteville, Arlington, Bloomfield, and Elm Park. So through April of last year, the median sale price was 520,000. Same period of time this year, the median sale price is 502,000. And that's a reduction comparing to the same time last year to this year of 3.4%. So here are some opportunities for you guys. If you are looking to get in into a home this year, you might want to consider that. South Shore. South Shore is always full of surprises, right? So the median sale price last year, the first quarter through April, was 714000 And this year, 2023 through April, is 700000 Another little small dent comparing last year to this year. So a reduction of 2%. That's starting to look like an opportunity zone might be coming up. Might be not. We're going to have to wait till next month and see how May did. So the hills. We have Emerson Hill, Toad Hill, Lighthouse Hill, Richmond Town, High Rock, Dungan Hills Colony, and Emerson Valley. Now keep in mind that section of Staten Island that prices are high due to location and type of homes that are there so the median sale price last january to april of 2022 was 915,000. and same time this year drum roll do you know what that is one million one hundred and sixty seven thousand shows up as a gain of 27.6%. And last but not least are the lakes. And the lakes, we have data from Westerly, Sunset Hill, Sunnyside, Royal Oak, Silver Lake, Glove Lake, and Castleton Corner. So let's see how we're doing in the lakes. Median sale price last year was 625000 and this year it is $615,000 and that's a 1.6% reduction in the median sale price. So that is the story for today. Those are the stats, but I want you to think about how real estate market is so can i saw so too many times hyper local so it's very important to please i always ask you don't just listen to the general news all over the place it is really important to know exactly what's going on in your neighborhood subscribe click on the notification bell and share with your friends if you think they are lucky enough to know about the stats and i will see you in the next video ciao